Well, I'm a little impatient, so I don't want to wait for this thing to print a whole pig. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it. And immediately check this thing for adhesion. Adhesion wasn't bad. Now it's time to put it to a real test. Okay, we've got our filament loaded. We're extruding. We went from the white to the black PLA, so we're extruding a little bit of it here to uh, make sure we get all the white out of there. Okay, and now we're going to go over to print. Go down and select our thing. We're going to be printing 10 rod ends for the helping hand. Let's just wipe the tip of that nozzle, make sure it's clean. Okay, and we'll check our temperatures. We want to get 205 and 60. Okay, looks like we're ready to go. That's what we're printing. Flat rod in, 10 of them, 205 and 60 degrees, 50% infill, 8 millimeter wall thicknesses, top and bottom. 37 hours, 13 minutes, 60.4 meters of filament. Take a close look here and see how she's doing. Hey, looks like it's laying down okay. Our Z offset or distance from nozzle to plate is maybe just slightly higher, slightly more gap there than what I would like. It looks like I'm laying down a little heavier bead of filament. I usually compress it a little bit more on this first layer, but that all depends. I have to on the glass to get adhesion, but I may not have to on this PEI spring steel sheet here. So we'll see how it does. Okay, now what I want to do is kind of feel that surface. If it feels really smooth, that first layer, the top of it, that's a good sign. And it does feel very smooth. So, we're going to let this one print. You've got 37 hours and about 10 more minutes to go, buddy. Okay, here's our print job that's running on the PEI spring steel sheet. And it's a 37 hour, 13 minute run. And we're about 24 hours into it because it was about this time yesterday, actually about, probably about 23 hours into it. But everything looks like it's coming along fine. The parts seem to have good adhesion. I don't notice any lifting or anything. So we'll let this one just keep on going until tomorrow. Over here, we're printing, we printed some of these 
rod end, female rod end pieces for the helping hand. We're printing another batch on the PEI sheet here on this CT4 and then down here we're running pet G on the PEI sheet to see how it does and printing a base for the table mount helping hand in pet G. So that's some of what's going on uh, this Saturday at the print farm. Normally I don't print parts on Saturday and Sunday, but I will come down here and do first time. And a couple of these jobs are the first time they've been printed on this particular printer or with this particular surface. I actually put together another ET4 over here with the PEI sheet on it, so I'm going to get it, it up and running. I'm really checking these spring steel PEI sheets out, putting them through the test, running both PET G like I am here, and PLA here, and right now we're running PLA on this one. I'll get that other one up running, probably some PET G parts on it. Because I wanted to see how the adhesion is with both types of filaments since those are the major ones that I use. And also see how they, how they print. So far they've been doing a pretty good job. So until the next time, happy printing from New Tech Inventors.